Hey, Jazz Fanatics. Thanks again for all the comments and subscribes based on last episode's question. I'd like to thank Tracy and Jonathan and Mitch for directly commenting on the YouTube video page itself. And I encourage you all to do the same for the next episode rather than just commenting on Facebook. What was interesting is that one person, after they told me they did not receive a response from the audience, they decided to tear gas them. Now I thought it was funny, but obviously this person is an experienced professional musician who has realized, like all of us, that some people, no matter what you do, just can't be reached. Fortunately, it's rare. As most of the comments indicated, the most common way to connect with your audience is to talk to them. Because if you show an interest in them, they'll show an interest in you and what you're doing. Let me share with you a couple things I do not do. Number one, I do not ask, how are y'all doing tonight? Because it's a gamble. You don't know what their response is going to be, and oftentimes it's less enthusiastic than you would like. There's one guy in the back. Or my favorite, there's still too many people in the audience who can't pull their heads out of their smartphone long enough to actually hear what you're saying. It's an epidemic, folks, and we need to find a cure. So my attitude is, if they're listening to my music, they are having a great time, or they have yet to become involved in the experience. And that's what music is. It's an experience, not just a collection of sounds. And how people feel about that experience after the show will determine whether they come back. The second thing I don't do is talk too long. I've seen so many band leaders that after the very first tune, they'll talk for five plus minutes. And all that does is have the audience tune out and some of them begin to ask the question, did I pay a cover to hear this person talk or to play? So keep it short. I welcome people to the venue. I tell them I'm glad that they're here. And then I'll usually just say, we're gonna split time tonight between my compositions and my derangements. And that's it. I'll introduce the next tune and count it off. There's plenty of time during the set to tell short stories that relate to the music and to introduce the other band members. So, when it's your responsibility on the bandstand to talk to the audience, what have you been saying? I can't wait to hear from you. And if you like this series, then please subscribe.